So now let's understand the second very important concept in object oriented programming, which is called inheritance, right? So what does it mean in layman terms? It is simply the ability of a class to inherit properties and behaviors of another class, right? Now that in turn increases the code reusability because now you don't need to write all the functionality in different classes, which is being repeated time and time, right? You, you can just write um, all the different methods in one particular class, and then you can simply inherit uh, those methods into another class and then start writing the specific methods which you require um, for the new class, right? So that in turn will save you a lot of time and then a lot of, um, lot of repetitive code could be ignored, right? So those are some of the very big advantages which you get from inheritance. Okay, so let's understand that uh, with the help of a example. Okay, so I'll be using the same project which I have been referring to. Uh, we have created a new class here, uh, which is uh, data, right? And our car class is already present here. And I have written some methods which are simply printing some statements, right? So these are few methods which kind of um, perform some function on a car on a, if you um, think about a real time scenario, right? So if I want the same behavior for this particular car company, I want to write the same functions. What, what would I do, right? So either I can write all these functions again in this Tata car, right? And then I can call them here. Okay. So I can give a call to all of these functions here. But what is happening here, if you notice, is we are repeating the code, right? So whatever code we wrote in the car class, now we are repeating the same code in the data class, right? And that same code could be repeated in a number of different classes as well. Now, this is not a good, uh, you can say a design, right? It's not a good design because you are repeating code. Uh, the number of lines of code is increasing um, and you are wasting a lot of time. Now to, uh, to improve this particular uh, code design, we can remove all this code here. And what we can do is we can implement inheritance, right? We can make this car class as a parent class and then this data class as a child class, right? So this child class would inherit the properties of the parent class, which is car, okay, which are already defined. Now, um, to implement inheritance, the keyword to remember is extends, right? So when you want to inherit um, from, a, from a parent class, you need to um, you need to define extends and then the class name from where you are inheriting, right? So which is the car class. So that will uh, mean that the Tata cl class is extending all the different uh, properties of the car class or inheriting, right? And now you will see all the errors are gone. Um, I can directly use these methods which are being def which have already been defined in the car class without writing the same code again, right? So if I go ahead and execute this, you will see it will print all the statements which have been written in the car class or the implementation lies in the car class for all these methods, right? We didn't have to write uh, a single line of code here, except that we are calling the method with the method names. So everything is printed here as we had um, defined it in the car class, right? Now, uh, if you want to add any more functionality to this particular class, you can start writing some specific methods for this particular class, right? So that is how you implement inheritance into your code. And that increases your code reusability because you are making your code more reusable, okay? Now coming back to inheritance, 
a uh, few things to remember here is as i said the class whose features are being inherited is called the super class it is also called the parent class right or and sometimes it is also called as base class but uh, the meaning is same okay then um, the class which inherits other class is called the child class or sometimes it is also called as the subclass right a very important point to remember here is java doesn't support multiple inheritance with classes now what does multiple inheritance mean is if a subclass or a child class is trying to inherit properties from two or more classes right so or you can say more than one class right then it is called multiple inheritance because it is trying to inherit from multiple classes which is not possible in java okay but there is a work around if you want multiple inheritance you can achieve it through the help of interfaces now what are interfaces i will explain you in the later section when we talk about uh, data abstraction but just remember that multiple inheritance could be achieved with the help of interfaces now it's a very popular interview question because um, you will be asked whether multiple inheritance is possible in java and if if it is then how right so these are the answers now the next thing to remember is constructors are not inherited by the child class right so you cannot inherit the constructors which are defined in the parent class uh, into the child class okay so these are the different important points which you should remember when you are implement implementing inheritance in your project and this is the whole concept about what inheritance is okay so in the next section we are going to look at abstraction and then we'll also look at what what are interfaces and what are abstract classes what are the differences so all those things <laughs>